Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. Sealy P. It's Tuesday the 29th of June. We have some new mods. We have a few updates. A couple of nice ones today. The updates are as follows. From top left, Italia demo version by Edo Mod. Uh, Spaffo Farming SMI modding team has had an update. Now they said it wasn't going to happen, but it has. It does say it's removed uh, various collisions, fixed the mission system, which I know was a problem for a lot of people, uh, fixed some decals, improved performance, and more bug fixes and improvements. But it does say you will need a new save game. I'm really pleased that's been updated. Beautiful map. Absolutely loved the map tour on that. The A5000 pack by Adams Kong has also had an update. That, if you recall, had the upside down when you were in the interior camera, first person. It was upside down, it was inverted, that's been sorted, and a few other fixes. Package of wind turbines by Razak Project Mecklenburg 17. The slurry shaft package by Razak Project Mecklenburg 17. And the Ural Next by Axery, that was a semi, uh, like a, a cab, lorry cab. That has now had the, as you can see, the blue with the orange back. That's had the farmer version added, so there's an actual container on the back of that, so you can have either of those. Those are the updates for today. First of the mods, then. We've got the Pack of Traces. This is by Avanox. 3.03 megabytes download. These are one slot each, and they don't cost anything. Decorative markings tracks we've got like an, an oil stained one there cracked paving i know we've had a few of these what sort before but we, as we move on sort of was a little bit more heavily oil stained but then we've got dirt tracks and marks junctions at gates and things like that these sorts of things i think are absolutely brilliant adds a little bit extra if you if you are adding in an extra track or a lane or a road or whatever it might be somewhere or off of a road onto a mud track i like that as an idea and the fact they don't cost anything is absolutely brilliant under placeables and decoration so we have track one which was the first one we looked at a little bit of a kind of oil mark track two the cracked paving track three a little bit of heavier oil track four track five track six and track seven all zero like I say, so apart from the one slot count for putting them down, the fact they don't cost them into place, absolutely brilliant. That's the pack of traces by Avanox. Next, we have got this. This is the Polish Well. This is by Zemek2343. 4.25 megabytes download, five slots on console. Now, could be a conflict between... I mean, this is the standard in-game water tanker, so I, I don't know why there would be. But anyway, once placed, it looks like this. And when you come up to it, to this mark in here, if I press circle, it opens it up for use. And when opening it up, puts this other hazard mark box around for filling. However, you watch it work now. <laughs> However, I've been around the whole thing, and I can't get the fill thing to come up nowhere is it coming up saying to, to refill I've been to the side I've been sort of at either end now let's like say if I was using a modded water tank water tanker whatever it might be I might be thinking oh it could be a, I mean it still could be a mod clash I guess between the mod and the standard in game one but I get nothing at any point coming up saying to refill I've been pressing L3 repeatedly let's say i've come side on i've come back on i've tried all different things i can't get the water tanker to fill up from it there might be that other water tankers modded ones will work uh, and there are so many to choose from but that's how you know if you if you do want to fill up that's what you need to do come to that if you press circle again it takes a bit of time winds up and that's what you start with so yeah not sure about that one um you may have better luck than I have. That's the Polish Well by Pesemek 23433. Next, we have got the Modern White House and the Brick House. These are by uh, X Blaze Jew X. These are both decorative objects. They're not sleep triggers. At least I don't think they are. I'm sure I double checked. No, they're not sleep triggers. You find they're both under decoration. The White House is 3.83 megabytes and four slots. 
the brick house is 3.73 megabytes and four slots 60,000 to buy in place 50,000 to buy in place you can't go into the buildings they are just decorative ob objects um, texture and details nice they are what they are decorative objects that's by x blaze ux moving on we've got the fences it's by fudso i think fudso fudso 2.17 megabytes download there are four sections in this so we've got a fence section which we can make sure i get the right one. we've got the fence brick wall section there and a pillar i didn't quite line that up properly it wasn't straight but anyway and the pillar and then we've got a full brick wall section and a pillar although this one i couldn't get the pillar any closer than that without that going red it wouldn't let me place it again you may have a bit more luck the good thing with these is nice and thick so lining them up is a little bit easier than some of the very thin fences and walls and things we've had in the past nicely detailed nicely textured also found under decoration sure they were so the brick wall fence section the gray one 250 the post 200 the brick fence, the red brick one, 200, and the brick post, 150 for those under placeables and decoration. Those are by foot. So moving on from there, we have this. This is the Strumic S350L. This is by Kopi and Ericsson, 8.59 megabytes download, six slots on console. This is a 350 litre fertiliser spreader and it will spread... Well, actually, you can change the spread width up to, I think it was 12 metres. We will double check that. Now, it's, it's showing up as lizard on console. Uh, on the website, it says Thrumic, but obviously, it's the lizard version. We've had a few different ones like this, various different capacities, but the, the fact you can change the spread width. Nicely detailed with the PTO attachment there. I think you, you, have, you even have to open the cover, because I went to one of the placeable refills. It wouldn't refill. It says open cover, although it's not a cover. I think it moves the PTO cover, then it allows you to fill it up. Um, but you will find this under tools and fertilizing technology. Fertilizing technology, there we go. The S350L, 700 by 350 litre capacity, it runs at 9 miles per hour, and it will just fertilize, it doesn't do fertilizer and lime or anything like that. Options available, we can change the main color to anything on that palette. Design colour, selection of reds, 6 metre, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, yeah, 12 metre spread width, so you can pick what you want. Decals, no side decal, no front and side decal, no or yes, so you can have a mixture of all or nothing. Then PTO cover is down there, put, put that back on there, PTO cover, yes or no. Like so, and like I say, you just have to open the cover to fill it up, hook up, turn it on. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure I went for the 12. Flow rate's pretty good as well. It's not, you know, honking out there. Sometimes you get these and they come out so fast. Nice animation on that as well. It does have a trail hitch on the back as well, so if you want to hook other trailers up, up with extra fertilizer in or you know something with some, some IBCs on or whatever you want to do to bring out with it, you absolutely can. Opening cover, L1 and left on the D-pad. As you can see, the PTO cover goes on and off, and that will allow you to fill. Um, that's it for that one too. Pretty straightforward, which brings me on to the next one. <laughs> monster trucks we've got we've got monster trucks i know it's insane it's crazy but they're seriously cool <laughs> i really do like them um this is simulator 19 the monster truck by viper gts 96 17.39 megabytes download 22 slots on console quite a few different configuration options on there massive intake is that for a supercharger we live in the UK, we don't have stuff like this. I mean, we have monster trucks and have the monster truck things at various different arenas, but on a kind of, on the daily, we don't see pickups like this with big old blowers and stuff out of the top of them. You'll find this under vehicles and cars. 
125 grand. I mean, this is, you know, what you do in your spare time. You've done your farming for the day and you go off out to the garage and shed and barn, whatever it is, and have a tinker around with your monster truck. Of course you do. This will go up to 1,100 horsepower. 111 miles per hour. We can change the main colour to anything on that palette. There are a few different options on the standard setup. That's not almost like a pearlescent, like a purpley blue flip on that. I like that one. There's a brown as well, and then obviously whatever other ones you want to go for. Like that. Rim colour, we have got a chrome, we've got a stainless. Then we go for all the regular kind of options. And then design colour is for the roll bar on the back and again we've got a chrome we've got a stainless or you can pick a color to complement or match whatever it is you've put on there then tire options we've got full tread front rear we've got mixed tread so we've got a, a more worn one on the front and a better one on the back then we've got worn tread on both then we've got liquid filled <laughs> and then back to full tread I think I picked a liquid field. I couldn't tell any difference in the driving, but anyway. Then you've got a 4x4 four four high, 4x4 four four low. Both of those are 950 horsepower. And I think that's just with the gearing, so you can go sort of a much faster on the high, and then a low range box for your climbing over vehicles, berms, you know, all that kind of cool stuff you see. Uh, and then we move on to the RT, which puts the blower on the front. Now, apologies if I'm saying, if you're American and you're watching this or anywhere that have these, and I, I'm sorry if I'm using the wrong terminology. Um, that's the 1,100 horsepower, low and high. That adds an extra 20 grand on, but blimey, 1,100 horsepower. So those are your options. Now listen to it. Oh, man. It sounds like a top fuel dragster. It's got that kind of, you know. So, lights, and the lights are pretty good when you've got the full spotlights on. Horn. Bit of a kind of truck horn sound to it. I don't think we've got opening doors or windows or anything like that. Uh, no, but we can open and close the cover so you can have the truck bed open on the back, or we can close it in and put the cover on there. Like that. The suspension is great. I love it. So when you accelerate, you've got your proper tilt backwards now we've also got steering options here so you can have your all-wheel steer monster truck why am I, why am I smiling so much <laughs> I know people will be going it's not farming but it is brilliant so uh, we can have all-wheel steer front wheel steer only we can have turn steer so you get your rear steer that makes it interesting uh, then we've got crab steer left crab steer right back to all-wheel steer now this one says it will do 62 miles an hour, so I think this might be the low range. So I might have gone for the 1,100 horsepower, but the low rather than the high. Oh, I just love it. And then the other one, and I mean it, it does. You know, this it's got the low, and if you want to go like the full monster truck, set yourself up a whole course and that kind of thing. It will go over the pickups. It just it doesn't even flinch really. <laughs> oh dearie me! So what I've also done because I thought, well, you know, why not? Um, I've got Miss City Peak Green. So this will do 111 miles an hour, but I think it's only that this is only the 950 horsepower version. Pick up a bit of speed here. <laughs> I honestly, I just, I could spend hours mucking around with these. So anyway, um, that that's the Simulator 19 monster truck by Viper GTS 96. Then I, I you know. Honestly, why would it not make you smile? I know it's not farming. It's not. A, is it, has, it hasn't even got a trailer hitch, I don't think. So you can't even hook anything up to it, but who cares? 
There's nothing wrong with doing something that just makes you grin like an idiot. If it makes you smile and it makes you happy, doesn't matter, does it? So there we go. That's by Viper GTS 96. Love it. On to the last of the mods for today, and it's the Jens Wood Slasher. We've got some over here. This is by Kenny456. 14.77 megabytes download, 25 slots on console. I hope, well, I hope I can get this to work. Like on the website, it shows the video of this being used. Now, this is a wood cutting trailer. Take it out to the field. You can cut your trees down full. It will take up to a 22 meter tree when fully extended. So that's what it looks like kind of when you get it. That's it all fully extended. You can change your cut length on it. And you can cut and you can tip the logs off. So if you're doing a, an operation with you or some other guys or whatever it might be, you might have a smaller trailer next to it or you might have a ramp to a sawmill, certain lengths. Yeah. However you want to go about it. You can use gantry crane mods with this because you need to load these logs on with something. But it is interesting and it can also be operated uh, without the lorry being attached, the, the truck cab being attached. So what we'll do is we'll go through the options of what you can do and then I'll try, I'll try, can't promise anything, I will try and cut some logs and use it how it's supposed to be done. I'll just move it out of the way of there just for a second. So, let's open the help menu. So we can turn on the tree saw, L1 and square. So our tree saw is spinning, it's ready to cut. Let's turn it off for a second. Now, under L1, right stick side to side moves the whole carriage forwards and backwards. Now, if you walk also, you can see here, because of where it's placed in the saw, that dial up there, that's your cut length. So you can go from two meters to eight meters. So that's at a two meter cut length. Oh, as you can imagine, if I move up, let's go to four. Let's put it right about there. That'll be a four meter. And then we can take this all the way out to eight. So there, and that's your eight meter cut length. And that tells you exactly, if you want to do halves, you can kind of put it halfway between some type of tube. Now we do have lights on this rig as well. Nice big spotlight on the back there, which is absolutely brilliant. We do also have uh, tension belts on that rear carriage. So you can put your logs on and strap them down if you want to. So L1, let's say side to side, and then up and down, raises and lowers the whole thing which makes the whole proposition a bit more interesting because then you start thinking hmm I wonder so that raises and lowers the whole carriage up and down too then if we go to our right stick so R1 right stick side to side brings the saw up and down for cutting so when it's turned on that will do your cut so that's side to side up and down extends that whole section out so that can allow you at full extent eight meters and that extended you can put 22 meter logs on that and then what you can do is as you're feeding you can push those logs forward on the whole the whole cradle so we've got a whole load of different options there l1 r1 is for unload right so when you're done what you're doing up to your eight meter cut lengths l1 r1 and unload that whole assembly moves down those rollers roll and your logs will roll off and go on to Whatever it might be, you've got sat there. So it might be straight into a cell point. It could be another trailer. It could be the waiting grab of a, a wheel loader, whatever it might be. So that's how you unload it. Let's put that back up again. Now, so that's the kind of op that's the operations. Now that's with it hooked up to the lorry, but this one. It's not hooked up to the lorry, but it doesn't need to be. This is where it all goes horribly wrong, and I ping trees everywhere. Enter vehicle. I can still put the lights on. So let's put the lights on. I'm going to have it, I think, on 8 metres. I'm going to keep it on 8 metres. Now, that end one, if I go R1 and... Was it side to side? No, that's for the saw the other way. I can push these logs right up so they butt up against that end. Well, hopefully... That's assuming, of course, they're all the same length. If they're not, then that's obviously not going to work. So it's a little bit trickier to do, I would say. <laughs> a little bit trickier to do to get the cut lengths absolutely perfect if you've got any of those logs that are longer than each other. If you're using a Scorpion King or something and you're getting, you know, whatever the full extent is, you can get them all cut perfectly. That's not a problem. I literally just cut these down, lopped the ends off and threw them on. 
So, now as I said, we can put our tension belt on, which holds them in place. So if you want to hold them in place on that cradle, we absolutely can. Now, let's turn on the tree saw. <laughs> R1 and side to side. Let's bring the saw right through. It's an interesting sound. Oh, I knew there'd be a problem. Right, let's take the straps off. So, that's my first 8 meter cut. Now, what I can do is hopefully move the cradle. Let's bring that saw up a bit out the way. I'll turn the saw off again. Now, I want to move that cradle out if I can. It's, it's tricky, I'll be honest with you. Now, what I do is lift that whole lot up, but the problem is that log's going to get stuck. How high can that lift up out the way? Come on, log, move. Doesn't want to move. Hmm. Right, so for the purposes of this, you can see there may be a couple of issues. I still have the lightsaber because I love it. Um, you may get the odd issue here and there. Like I say, if they do catch, let me just take that little bit off the end. Hopefully that'll be enough to let it drop. There we go. So the whole point is, what you do is you raise this carriage up, as we are doing, and then, hopefully, we bring that across. So we've just put our next lot into position, hopefully. Turn on the tree saw. And then bring the saw down, cut the next 8 metre lengths, hopefully. <laughs> then raise the cradle up again, hopefully. Push that lot. Now obviously the next ones aren't eights. Well, that's a pity. Actually I've moved that the wrong way haven't I? I've done the wrong thing. You'll get more au fait at it the more you do it, <clears throat> he says. I moved the wrong cradle. I should have moved that, not that, that is what I should have moved, to push them all off. Because now I've got a log in the way, so that would have done that. Problem is now I can't lower that down because I've got logs in the way. Oh, man. I'm making, <laughs> making the right mess of this, aren't I? Oh, dear. Anyway. You can see what it's supposed to be doing anyway. Let's turn that off. Move that back and move that out of the way. So yeah, it's a case of cut, lift, push, cut, lift, push, cut, and, and then... Right. So once you're all done, apart from that one now, that's going to be right in the way. Can I cut that out of the way? That one, let me cut. Let's move you just for the sake of... So I can show what's going on hopefully and then when you're ready to unload what should happen is we do that now interestingly that's pushing the whole log trailer to one side so it depends what you've got to catch it I haven't demonstrated it as perfectly as you know as I would imagine the model would have liked. But you kind of get the idea of how this all works. The whole thing extends out, big logs on, cut, lift, move, cut, lift, move, unload onto whatever it is you're unloading onto. That, I couldn't control that in all honesty. That unloads the way it unloads. That's how it ended up. Now, if you've got something to catch them, if you're unloading into any of those log holders or anything like that, they would settle into the log holder, I, I would imagine, quite nicely. Or if you're doing them straight into a cell point, it's irrelevant, doesn't matter. Um, you can do your 8-metre cuts and go from there. But anyway, that's, um, that's the Jens Wood Slasher by Kenny456. I really like it. I like the whole concept of this, how it all works. I think for it to work really well, one, it's going to require a bit of practice, obviously. Two, 
when you first put trees on here they all really do need to be the same length because as you saw one of those ones at the start was about a meter longer than all the other ones so when I push from the back to butt them all up against this plate here it would only push up as far as that as the longest one so all of the that first cut wouldn't have been eight meters one would have the rest would have all been sevens so you really do need whatever's going on here all to be the same length um but nice bit of kit i like it i like the design i like the way it works um and that's it for the mods for today i hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have please give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Before I go, I've just remembered, sorry, my Discord server has gone live. I have a Discord server now. If you're interested in joining it, going on to it, the, the link is in the description. Massive, massive thank you to Jaden, Gogol, Pop, and MNIH. Three subscriber slash fans slash friends who very kindly and graciously set the whole discord server up there's all different categories and stuff in there you can go on you can chat more my videos get posted up there um there are server rules like all discord servers have i know people have been asking me for a long time am i going to have one i'm going to get one i don't know how often i'll be able to get onto it in the chats and that kind of thing i will try my hardest but it's kind of a fan page you can be a silly peep and you can join the mr silly peep discord server if you want to, it's entirely your choice. I'm off to play with the monster trucks. Thanks for watching.